Hello there, I'm Sandy Alnahawk, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube with the second video in the 24 Tags of Christmas series for 2018. Every year here on YouTube, I give you ideas for making tags and I make 24 tags and give them all away more on the, the giveaway later at the end of the video. But this one has no coloring in it. It just has embossing and layering, and it's kind of cool. So I am using strips of paper that were left over from back in the days when I taught. So these are several years old. <laughs> I've had this stack of strips of two and a half, I think it's two and a half or two and a quarter inch paper that have been, been haunting me. It's just been sitting around here for so long. I gotta use them. So if you have ideas on what I can do with strips of black paper like this, let me know. But when I saw this stamp set, I thought this would be really gorgeous embossed in gold. So this is some wow embossing powder, which is really delicious. And I've put that powder on. If you haven't done much embossing, that powder thing, powder tool thingy is what I call it. It de-statics the paper so that you don't end up with lots of stray little flecks of gold all over the place. And I do my stuff, my little shaking over top of a piece of paper so I can dump it back into the container except for my white which is in a tub. But otherwise my little jars I don't put in big containers because I don't have space for that. I have a tiny studio. So I've got four of these ready to roll, got them all embossed, and I'm using my little detail scissors to cut around them. I am not cutting really close to the edge. This one I'm just kind of doing a more loose hack job of it. You can get really tight with it, you can do really loose with it, and it, it's a really simple set of shapes to cut. You can choose whether or not to cut down in between. You can see how close I got on the one on the left, much less close on the one on the right. I don't think it really matters for the tags that I'm making. So I think you could get away with doing the much simpler, simpler type of cutting. So here's that beautiful background that I told you about. It's like the city of Jerusalem or something in the background. This is all by Penny Black, by the way. Did I mention that yet? I don't remember. But I had cut the star off of the Holy Family, who uh, is centered in the middle there, because there's a star also in the background one. So you don't need both stars, which is kind of nice. So I've de-staticked my paper, stamped it with my Versamark clear ink so that the embossing powder sticks, shake it all over it, and then heat set it. And uh, note to self, I had to learn that I needed to move that piece of paper away before turning on the heat gun because I actually blasted a whole bunch of powder across my desk on one of the attempts at this. I decided not to show you that piece of footage because it was rather embarrassing that somebody like me could be quite that ding dong. <laughs> but you know, that's what happens sometimes. You get busy making things, you forget to move something, and that's that's the way life goes. Okay, I decided I wanted the stamped sentiment from the set in there. So I'm going to stamp it right over top of this background layer and I'm going to stamp it in white or emboss it, shall I say, in white. I'll still stamp it in the Versamark uh, so I have that sticky ink for it to stick to. And this is the container I keep my white in. Had to buy a couple jars to fill it enough that I can get the spoon in there. And that is a spoon, by the way, from Dairy Queen. So if you ever need an excuse to go to Dairy Queen, that's a good one. You need a spoon for your embossing stuff. So, all right. So the assembly of this is pretty simple. I'm putting the dimensional adhesive on the back of the front panel, of course, cutting it down so that it kind of fits. I wanna make sure that I don't go down below those horizontal lines because I wanna trim this after I get it assembled. So I want my adhesive to stop before I get there. I'm not being detailed trying to put adhesive under every single spot, just enough that it stays popped up because all those little things could flatten out and then it won't look as dimensional if you don't have at least a little bit of the adhesive in there. And then I can line it up. And since I've lined everything up on my MISTI, I know exact, exactly the placement that I want. I can just line up the corners at the bottom and press it down and bada boom, bada bing, done. 
And then all that's left is the trimming. You could also layer this onto a piece of gold cardstock or gold shimmery paper or something, but I think it worked really well to just have it on the black. I decided to trim the corners and make it a little more taggy shaped. Don't know if taggy shaped is a word, but I now have four of these ready to send out to four lucky winners. How do you qualify? You go to my blog and you leave a comment there. I used to give away these tags every year on YouTube as well, and people never got back to me with their address. I didn't know how to reach them, so I'm going to pick from commenters on the blog this year, see if that works better. You'll also get to see a card made with this very same technique if you go over to the blog and you can pin things from there, because you know you need to do that and you forget what you learned on YouTube. All right, I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow with the next video in the series.